Um, what's up, you two? Here's another video while I'm waiting. You know how women are. Always got you waiting. So, uh, what should I title this? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, to Westbrook or not to Westbrook? That is the question. Now, you would think having Melo, PG, and Westbrook on the same team would be something monumental. But when teams like that get together, I always got to give them a year. Just like I like the Miami Heat uh, when LeBron went, up, went over there. Even though they went to the finals, they still lost. And that was still arguably one of the worst finals of LeBron James history where he was point shaving because uh, I, I, it's a whole lot that I, I, I got to say about that on another day. Matter of fact, we'll talk about it now. Screw it. Um, I think LeBron James point shaved in that finals, man, against the Mavericks. Uh, Mark Cuban was bitching and moaning and complaining the whole season to uh, David Stern about how the NBA was, was uh, I guess, being catered to LeBron James and and uh, Dirk Nowinski deserves this and he deserves that. So I think LeBron point shade. I think David Stern said, hey, Bron, look, man. You've been doing everything we wanted you to do this far. So come on, man. Let let we need to shut Mark Cuban ass up. And I think that's what happened because they came out of nowhere in the playoffs and was just I think they still one of the top uh had one of the top uh three point shooting performances in, in playoff history. I remember they hit like 31 some three pointers against the Lakers or so. Are right, everybody on that team hit a three pointer, even the bench players? never forget that we got smoked but uh yeah back to the westbrook thing um you would think going back to you know the miami heat and you know putting the, the big three together with lebron james and and uh chris bosh and Dwayne wade now you have these the three amigos um you would think that they would be up there with the Warriors and uh, Houston Rockets, <laughs> but they can't win a damn road game. So that's why I say to Westbrook or not to Westbrook. Um, you would think Westbrook would. <sighs> this is hard to say, man. Westbrook is not a true point guard. Um, Westbrook has to kind of tweak his game a little bit like CP3. You know, Westbrook is such a ball-dominant guard. He has to control the offense. And I know it's, it has a lot to um, living up to the Jordan brand hype and his contract and he's the face of the team and face of the city as far as, you know, uh, sports goals in Oklahoma. Next to that is the Oklahoma Sooners, I think. Um, but yeah, Westbrook is he helping or hurting the OKC Thunder? Is Paul George overrated? Is he all hype? And we already are, and, and we already know what Melo is. Melo is like the the second coming of Karl Malone, but at least Karl Malone made it to the finals. You know what I'm saying? You know, when you have a player like Melo, seasoned like he is, it's kind of like an old man. He's set in his ways. He's not going to change the way he plays. When Melo changes up the way he plays, like passing the ball and and finding open shooters. His stat line sucks. Just like the last game they played. Nine points, four rebounds, and I think one assist. Melo ain't going to pass you the ball. So you have two ball-dominant guys, and you have a dude stuck in the middle 
trying to make it all trying to make it trying to make it make sense that's paul george paul george is the guy in the middle trying to make this shit make sense because you have two guys Melo and westbrook who's not willing to change the way they play and then you have steven adams and anderson I, he should be in the g league man this guy oh my god that's where they hurt at man they hurt at the 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 small four position that's where they be getting cooked. Roberson is a defensive guy, but he's not providing you no offense. He's going to the free throw line and he's breaking shots. He's not even a confident shooter anymore. When he drives to the basket, he's dishing it out. He's dishing it out to Melo. That's the only guy he passed to. <laughs> Roberson, he'll get a ball to Melo. <laughs> Here, Melo, shoot it. You take all my shots, Melo. So, Paul George is the guy stuck in the middle trying to make this shit make sense now i don't even think they 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 not even in they not even they record sucks i don't know what to say man i i'm i'm looking at paul george about about time it get to maybe all-star break You'll start probably seeing a lot, a lot of change in Paul George's attitude if they have a losing record, because I think that's what they're going to have is a losing record. You know, Russell Westbrook, I love Russell Westbrook. I think he's a hell of a player, but he's dealing with a, a knee injury that um he had some kind of injection shit. He had the Kobe shit. He had the Kobe shit done to his knee. Um, So who, who knows how he's dealing with that? You know what I'm saying? It, I'm really thinking Westbrook is really forcing his play to like, I don't know, man. It's just Paul George is trying to make this make, shit make sense. Westbrook is not changing the way he's going to play. Melo is not going to change the way he's going to play. I don't see this. I don't see this shit working out. Plus the owner said he's willing to pay over the salary cap to try to keep these three together. The person that's going to get frustrated in this shit because Westbrook already got his money. He's already signed, sealed. Hey, he's staying in OKC. Westbrook ain't going nowhere. Paul George, hmm. I'm here in New York. Might be LA. But from back then when Paul George was with the Indiana Pacers. Uh, and you know, by the way, um uh, uh Lamont mentioned to me, yeah, yeah, Victor Oladipo was balling, but it's the fucking Pacers, man the Pacers I mean Victor Oladipo is really playing with a chip on his shoulder because he keep getting thrown around the league the reason why is because he keeps getting injured <laughs> how how yeah he Vic, VO shout out to you man you had a hell of a game last night you put up damn near you put up a nice stat line um but how long can you keep this level of level of play up and how before you wind up getting injured and that's the reason why you bounce around the league man people don't want to be dealing with your injuries so hey blessing in disguise you know vo is only making like six million dollars a year so he really playing playing for a big payday he's going to get it he's going to get paid he's going to get paid uh but This whole Melo, PG, and Westbrook thing, I don't think it's going to work. Westbrook is just already set. Like, when you play when you play a certain way f for a long time, it's kind of hard to break up out of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a few players that will change up the way they play so that it benefits to winning. Example, Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh, perfect example. When he was with uh, Toronto, he was putting up 20, 12, 20, 15. He was balling. He even, he, he, he marketed himself, branded himself on YouTube to get to the All-Star game. Smart man. He goes to Miami and he changes the way he play. He know LeBron is a ball dominant player. He know Wade is a slasher. You know what I'm saying? He know he got, you know, the physical guys in the paint. You know what I mean? Chris Bosh is going to be like how Lamar Odom was 
with the Lakers when we won the championship. The guy that kind of fits in between all of that. He's going to go do the dirty work. He's going to he's going to go for that loose ball. He's going to take a charge. You know what I mean? He's just going to do that kind of shit. You know what I mean? So that's what Melo is not willing to do. That That's what Westbrook is not willing to do. I don't mind Westbrook not doing that. Westbrook will do it sometime, but, you know, he get into that mode of, uh, I'm, I'm Mr. Triple Double. You know, he, he stuck with that stigma. So everybody is expecting Westbrook to put up a triple double every night like he did last year. And now that he has two other perennial all-stars, you know what I'm saying, playing alongside him, it's really up to Westbrook to figure this shit out instead of Paul George. Paul George is just supposed to be playing free. That's the person that's supposed to be playing free. You know what I'm saying? Westbrook is going to have to... Prop, see, Westbrook uh, could average a low-ball triple-double if he wouldn't try to take so many damn shots. If I'm Westbrook, I know that, you know, defenses are going to be coming at me. So that should give, they're going to be trying to double team me. So that should give a lot of open looks to Melo, Paul George, to cut to the basket. You know what I'm saying? You can even get Steven Adams involved in post play. But Westbrook is not willing to do that. Westbrook is willing to set up a pick and roll at the top of the key and chuck a three point shot. <laughs> even when he try to hit buzzer beaters, he's leaning all into the guy. You know what I'm saying? Leaning all into him and not really getting a good look, good pull up. He trying to get fouled. You know, refs don't call a foul when it's, you know, the, the, the time is ticking off the clock like that. Last second shots, they like, nah, we just going to let it fly. Whatever happens, happens. You know what I'm saying? So this really falls on Westbrook. And Paul George is suffering from trying to be the guy to make it all make sense. And Melo is just, I'm going to be Melo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing me. I'm gonna keep taking my shots. I'm gonna keep. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta average my Hall of Fame numbers. I gotta keep my 20 points, my 20 and six, 20, 20 and seven, whatever he averaging. My 27 and three. You know what I'm saying? Melo is stuck in that mindset. Like I ain't got that much time left. He should have went to the Cavs, man. He should have went to the Cavs if he wanted to. Uh, if he wanted to get his, LeBron ain't afraid to pass the ball, but you know, Melo got that ego where he feel like, oh, I don't want to be, you know, piggybacking off of LeBron and everybody say, oh, I won my chip because, oh, I wouldn't have won the chip if it wasn't for LeBron. You know what I'm saying? That whole ego thing with Melo. So Westbrook or not to Westbrook. Westbrook needs to start playing like a point guard instead of like an MVP. That's what he need to do if if they want to win. He got to start playing some damn defense. Did y'all see him get crossed up? Did y'all see Westbrook get crossed up, falling off on the ground? <laughs> Once again, shout out to Lamont for bringing that up, man. This was a good one, <laughs> man. Westbrook, bro. Uh, yeah, keep chasing them triple doubles, man, because it ain't coming with no damn ring. 